Blessings! Thank you for all who have liked, shared, subscribed, and have asked me to do readings for you. It is my passion, as well as uh, my life path, <laughs> to, um, to do these readings. And um, thanks for asking me to do 2016, because I'm doing these before December of uh, 2015. And yeah, you see the, the light moving, and that was my computer. I have my computer open in front of me, and I've just done the 2016s, and I... I did them using my tarot. I, I did an intuitive reading. And now I'm going to go back and give a little bit more of the planetary aspects because 2016 is going to be a very challenging year. Okay, it's going to be a very challenging year for all of us. Okay, because we have some big heavy duty planetary that's going on. Okay, we have. Um, our, our retrogrades, you know, our retrogrades are going back over and, and, you know, forcing us to redo, you know, to revisit. And we have the usual Mercury retrogrades in January, May, and December. And electrical mechanical communication breakdown. That, that is, you know, to be aware of in the month of months. Of. <laughs> okay, now Mercury in January it will go retrograde on the 6th and go direct on the 26th. So that's pretty much the whole month of, of January. And then April 29th, it will go retrograde until May the 23rd. So pretty much the whole month of May and uh, a little bit of, of April will be retrograde. And then in December, it will go retrograde on the 19th. So, electrical, mechanical, communication breakdowns, beware of January, May, and December. Then, you have Mars going retrograde. Mars goes retrograde in April, and that will be in Sagittarius. Okay, and it will go direct in June in Scorpio. So, Mars, that fun-loving, okay, um, well, Mars, you know, is war aggression in Sagittarius is fun loving, but then when it's going into Scorpio, that's that deep, deep, dark secretive and Mars retrograde is um, known for assassinations and destruction. Okay. More Mars, you know, the war, anger, aggression. All right, and um, is it going to come in, you know, in, in from behind, you know, is um, when, when you're talking about assassinations, um, is it going to be from the front, you know, uh, Sagittarius, I would say so, more straightforward, and Scorpio, I would say more behind the scenes, okay, so that's April until, until June. Uh, April 18th until June the 30th, that is Mars. And then we have Jupiter going retrograde. And Jupiter is going retrograde January 8th until May the 10th, and that's in, in Virgo. And Jupiter retrograde lends to obsessive mental illness. And we know how Virgo is the organized analytical. So please do not drive yourself crazy with that Virgo uh, retrograde. Okay? Genius hinges on insanity only when you're not true to yourself. So if you're getting brilliant flashes of inspiration, write them down and analyze them at another time. Okay? Um, don't, don't obsess over them at this point. Just write the information down. And afterwards, uh, you can see it a little bit clearer. Okay, so January to May. Um, Jupiter is, is retrograde. Then we have Saturn. Saturn is retrograde from March the 25th 
and that is also in Sagittarius, and it's going to go direct on August the 13th, again at um, 9 degrees of Sagittarius. So, um, I'm just looking here to, uh, to see how close the degrees are with Mars and, and Saturn. You know, meaning that they are both, um, both going retrograde, and there is going to be a point in there that I'm seeing where they, well, that's eight. No, no, sorry. It, uh, good, <laughs> good. <laughs> There's not as much chaos and destruction as I was thinking. Great thing. Okay. So, where were we? That was that Saturn, that was the teacher. And that is associated with loss, depression, and pain. So, Saturn, that teacher in Sagittarius from March until August, okay, um, don't be having too much fun. You go out and you have too much fun. Saturn is definitely going to be teaching you a lesson, okay, um, wherever it falls in your house. I say everybody should have a treasure map to your soul, and that is your astrological birth chart. So when you know your chart, you know yourself. When you know where the planets are transiting, you know where they're hitting you, in what house they're hitting you. Like Saturn is going to be hitting me in my ninth house. You know, my long distance travel, my higher learning, my spiritual quests. Uh, yeah, I'm going to continue learning the occult arts because learning them makes so much more sense in my life. Okay, Uranus. Uranus is going to be going retrograde September the 1st, 24 degrees of Aries, and it will go direct on December the 29th at 20 degrees of Aries. Now, when Uranus is retrograde, that's more the individual, the nonconformist. It's like, no, I'm going to be me. I don't care how painful it is. I'm going to be me. I'm going to use my inspiration to enlighten others also. Okay, so depending on how tight you hold on to your mindset, all right, if it's like your way or the highway, mm, yeah, you might have a problem with that. You know, you want to blend in there a little bit. You don't want to be just, you know, um, well, it's an Aries, so sometimes Aries can be a little bit, you know, bull, well, I can't say bullheaded. You can't say bullheaded because Aries, it's like, oh, 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 start out the block and bam, bam. You know, it, it's it's Aries that ram. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. How many times do you, do you ram yourself into that, that brick wall? <laughs> so, yeah, don't ram yourself into that brick wall too many times. Um, maybe you can find a way to go around that wall instead of ramming it all the time. All right, so then we have Neptune, and Neptune is retrograde June, and that will be June the 14th until November the 20th, and during the Neptune retrograde, the truth is revealed. So I'm feeling at the end of the year that it's going to be much better, that even though there is going to be mass up upheaval, okay, uh, migrations of people, the earth changes increasing, all right, I do see that out of tragedy, people come together in love. And I do see at the end of the year, it's going to be a whole lot better. There's going to be a lot of things that are going to be revealed. Now, Pluto is retrograde from April until September, April 18th until September the 28th, and that is in Capricorn. And that's, you know, dealing with our inner fears. You know, is everything going to, to turn out? Now, Pluto and Capricorn, Pluto is that death, that transformation. Um, and, and Capricorn is, is government. You know, a lot of us are, are concerned about our government. Oh, now what was say, I just saying about um, September? Yeah, 
uh, retrograde going back over it, and it's going to be right before our elections in the United States. So uh, there's going to be a lot of things that are going to be revealed. A lot of things that are going to be revealed. So the important thing is to keep your faith this year coming. Even though there's going to be challenges, there's going to be challenges with everyone. Okay? Some, you know, this is going to, 2016 is going to weed the men from the boys. All right? It's going to separate the women from the girls. The doers from the not doers. Okay, the liars from the, the, the truthful people. All right, there's going to be a separation and divide, and many things are going to be exposed. So keep your high moral grounds. Okay, you, you, you know, why, why play their game when you remember that threefold law? Mm -hmm. One finger pointed out, threefold back in judgment. Okay. What's your reward? Okay, are you getting those blessings? Because you have been, you know, let me help you. Let me help you. Or are you in judgment of? If you've been in judgment of, this year's going to be the bitch slap year. Okay, so I thank you all. If any of you would like a personal reading, I would most love to do it. What I do is look at your birth chart, and I go over it. And then I go over the transits where they are right now. And I record it and upload it to YouTube. So only you can go back and look at it. And every time you will look at it, you will hear more and more. I, I like to record. I, I like to put it, and then you can go back and listen. Because when I, I, I counsel, you can't remember everything I say. So I, I like to record so you can go back and listen to it three months later, you know, six months later, a year, you know, you are, we will always hear more and you will hear what you're supposed to remember when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So bless you 2016 and, uh, Woohoo! Mystic Glow Lady here. Hello, Gemini. This is your divinatory reading for 2016. I'm going to be doing a general reading and I'm just going to be using my tarot cards. So I will surround us with the divine white light. What comes through me is not of me and we just have a good time. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be focusing on the astrological. I'm going to be throwing... <laughs> almost said it. I'm going to be throwing three cards for each month and looking at how the general outlook is looking for 2016. So... Gemini, beneath you, the Seven of Swords, the Unstable Actions. All right, you know what you have done in the past that has caused you pain. You can choose to put it beneath you and use it as the power in which to create new change, a new catalyst for change, that phoenix that rises from the ashes. You have a chance to do that in 2016. So, starting it out, we have the Eight of Swords, the shortened force. That pain, all right? Are you still looking at it as that wound? Or do you need to look at that wound? Do you need to peel that scab off one last time? So you can get that new growth, that new skin to come in. Yeah, it's going to be a shade or two or three or four different. It might be a little bit shiny. You know, that shiny new skin. 
that is going to grow? The Hierophant. What do you need? What do you need to grow? Okay. What kind of, of healing do you need in order to grow? And you also have the King of Pentacles. So Gemini. Gemini is the I think. All right. So, Gemini, with that great mind, okay, the great mind of Gemini, do you think that you might have a new invention for a medical treatment? Do you see a way to make money using a medical treatment of some sort? Are some of you planning on opening up a spiritual retreat center? That would be cool. That would be cool because that's what's needed. All right, Gemini. I think, I think you are so mental. You are an air sign. Okay. And then when you think and you have the twins on either side of you, I think I'll do this. I think I'll do that. Yeah. I'm a Pisces. I'm two fish going in the same or different directions too. Sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes we just go in circles, you know, hook arms go in circles. <laughs> so how are you going to do it, Gemini? Okay. How do you think you're going to do it? <laughs> Alrighty. So in February, you have the moon. The moon, your emotions. You have the princess of wands. Are you working on your emotions? <coughs> Excuse me while I take a sip. Ah, oh, thank you. I had to do that. For some of you who have been listening to me for a while, you know, and my throat gets dry, and then I get a coughing fit, and oh, that's no fun. Alrighty, Four of Swords. So, in the month of February, don't be focusing on what you have lost. Do not be focusing on the pain, okay? Things are going to be turning around. You're going to be happy in February. So, you know, how do you choose to see it? How do you choose to think about it? Are you driving yourself crazy because you're thinking about it in a certain fashion and it's not even the right way to look at it? Okay, are you being obsessive? Uh, planetarily, yeah, there's some big happenings that's going on, you know, Jupiter's going retrograde, Uranus is going retrograde, Saturn's going retrograde, so, all right, if you've been looking and pointing your finger out in judgment, you have three, fold it back, and that karmic bitch slap. All right, so uh, yeah, it's it's time that we start living honorable, or people are gonna be getting beach slap. It's revelation, revelation is is to reveal, and and that's another thing. Um, I've been I've been talking about earth changes for a long time, and people are starting to talk about it too. They're start they're starting to realize, oh, there is something going on. So, Mother Earth is going to be changing more and more quickly, and uh, there are some of you, Eight of Swords, there are some of you who are going to be going through even more so than others, the Hierophant. You know, March, what's coming? What, what, what do you need? Are you going to have a roller coaster too? The King of Pentacles? It's interesting because there's, there's going to be some rocking and rolling. There's going to be some change. There's going to be some transformation. Whether you want to, whether you don't, kicking or screaming, or riding on that surfboard and coasting that wave. All right? We have choice. That is our free will. The will to do, the will to think, how we choose to. So, uh, you know, choice is yours. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly. It's all depending upon how much pain you want to endure. Alrighty. So, Six of Swords coming up in April. Alright. New beginnings and communications. New things going. Queen of Wands, what's going on? What's working? Uh, the Sun, partnerships. Okay, so what seems to be going crazy doesn't mean that it's not going to be working itself out by April. All right, um, you know, new partnerships in business. New, new partnerships in, in relationships, new partnerships in business. Do you have an invention and you're looking for someone to invest in your product? All right. Okay. So we have May. May 2016. And we have the Seven of Cups, the illusionary success. You have the Three of Pentacles, the material works. And you have the King of Cups. Alrighty. So, in the merry month of May, there might be a little bit of an emotional upheaval. All right. How are you choosing to to see things? All right. Um, and and I'm also feeling it it the the May being attached to the April. And if you are one of those inventors, or you know the partnerships, please make sure that contracts are. You know, correct. All right, eyes dotted, T's crossed, sign on the dotted line, print on the right form. That kind of. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm feeling. Make sure that there's that they, that 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 you're doing that. Okay. I mean, not like we shouldn't always. You know, you don't want to just sign your name to a blank form and say, okay, you can fill it in later. I'll trust you. Well. One finger out in judgment, three folded back, but when it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, probably a duck. So, June, how is it in June? The Ten of Swords, the Rune. Now, what is it? Because you also have the star, the wish card. So, where is that transformation that is going to be occurring in your life? The Prince of Cups. The emotions. What kinds of new transformation is going to go through in your life? Alright. Is there some new love that's coming in? Because Gemini... It's transforming. It's transforming. Which twin? Which twin? <laughs> Which twin you listening to? Alright, you listening to the one that is like, Oh no, oh no, it's not going to work out. Oh no, oh no. Or this one that's saying, Ah, I think. I think, therefore I am. I think I can, therefore I know I can. Okay, so, in the month of July, you have the Eight of Cups. Hmm, abandoned success. What are you letting go of emotionally? Are you letting a lot of things go? You have the Six of Swords. How can you use that emotional pain to communicate it out there? How can you make a difference in other people's lives? The Queen of Wands. Okay. What what needs to be let go of? Now, that is coming up in July. Okay. Uh, what emotions? Is someone walking out of your life uh, coming up? Um, is someone just leaving, not even walking out, but they aren't there. Okay, so, coming up, we just did July, 
So now we're going to do August. And we have the Hermit. Hmm. Going within. Uh, there, there's, well, there's your balance. You know, there's your temperance. There's, there's your balance. Uh, taking sabbaticals. You know, it's really interesting because this had come up for, for Taurus, too. Um, exact same order. With the, the, the devil. You know, the, the hermit, the temperance, the devil. Um, there's going to be a lot of revolution, that is coming in 2016. So a big part is how do you choose to see it? You know, some some you 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 many are going to be taking breaks to rethink life in general because um, some people can roll with the flow better than others. Uh, Gemini, you're an adaptable sign. So, you know, you already have one person saying yes and one person saying no. You, you know, okay, okay. You know, who's, who's, who's telling me what today? But it's going to come down to, um, you know, taking it, taking it easy. Um, Take, taking it easy on you. You you really need to take it easy on you. Don't don't think. Don't harsh critical think um, and destroy you. You know. Don't allow that negative side of you to take over. It has to be a positive side. All right. Because there's there's some um, you got some challenging that's um that's coming. Now in the ninth house. Well ninth house ninth month. In September, you have the death card, the end of. Uh, what are the new beginnings? The three of wands that's coming out of a change, a transformation, a very fruitful transformation for you. The nine of pentacles. So, um, the first few... Well, first few, I mean, he, everybody is being changed. Everybody is being transformed. It's, it's, are, are you going with the flow or not? Are, are, are you kicking and screaming? Are you living to your truth? All right, that's, that's a, that's a biggie part of. Are you living your truth? Because if you're not living your truth, and yeah, it's like, which one, which one, which one, which one? But if you're living your truth... It's going to be so much easier to deal if you're being honorable. I can't stress that enough. Are you being honorable or are you going to get bitch slapped? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much what it's coming down to. So, oh, October, October, the Four of Swords, the rest from Strife. You also have the Four of Cups, the Blended Pleasure, and you have the Justice card. So, as I was saying, hang in there. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's going to be challenging. There's going to be some, some heavy-duty planetary that is going to transform you. It's just if they're going to transform you in a positive way, all right, um, or you're going to let them break you, all right? You know, transform, bend, or break. How do you how do you want to to do it? So, in November, hermit. There's there's a lot. That hermit is coming up. All right, these three cards are going back in the deck, purposely in different parts of it, because that in itself is I think the fourth time that these three cards have come up in that exact order and it's saying you know get your balance get your balance yes yeah, you know I'm, I'm cutting them back in in different parts so that nobody can say that I stack the deck 
but it's it's telling me that that yeah there's some big time change and transformations that are coming in 2016 and um that's what i'm i'm hearing that's what i'm feeling that it's big time transformation and if you're holding one too tight and too rigid it is definitely going to be painful for you you have the six of pentacles the material trouble coming up in december you have the moon the moon is your emotions and you also have the princess of wands all right your emotions are going to be rocked your your emotions are going to be rocked and how are you choosing to see it? How are you communicating it out there? Are you communicating to yourself in a nice form and fashion? I mean, we can be our own self, worst self-critics. And is, is that what you're doing? Okay. So, um, Gemini, there are some challenges in 2016 nothing that you can't handle a uh, few of them are going to be repeat performances so if you haven't learned that lesson the last time uh you know what that means <sighs> yeah it means even more painful so we have uh saturn Saturn is going to be retrograde. Let me check my handy ephemeris. I had them all written down and I highlighted the retrograde so I would know. Well, January, Jupiter is going retrograde. And then you have Saturn going retrograde in March. Uh, that teacher... What do you need to, to learn? You have Pluto going retrograde, Mars going retrograde in April. You know, add it to Jupiter, Saturn. So there is big time change and transformation. May, um, you know, June, it's, um, it's, it's big time. Uranus, no, Neptune is going retrograde in, in June. All right, you illusions, delusions, how are you choosing to, to see things? So, um, it's, uh, it'd be retrograde. Saturn's going direct, and that will be in August. Okay, uh, let's see. Mars goes direct the end of June. So, planetarily... Planetarily, it, it's going to be challenging, and it's going to be pretty challenging through the whole 2016. And that's that. That's you know, change transformation. If you want to be a diamond, well, heck, man, get used to the pressure. Okay, that that's how we make diamonds out of coal it's the pressure so either you are still um under that pressure in, in order to transform or you have gone through that and now you're you're you know what is it the buffer or the polishing cloth what part of the diamond are you at in your life okay so yeah, Gemini, what can I say? You're going through what the rest of us are. How do you choose to see it? So, have a great year, and I'll talk to you soon. See you, love you, bye.